Welcome to Well Done Mind. 12 Negative Behaviors That Are Beneficial to You Every one of us has terrible habits. And some of them can develop into larger patterns if they are not addressed, which would be disastrous for our health and capacity for goal achievement. However, certain unhealthy habits might really improve our physical and psychological health when practiced in moderation. So let's look at some beneficial habits first before entirely eliminating all the bad ones from your life. The first is skipping exercise. Yes, there are a ton of health advantages to exercise. Regular physical activity also improves mood, sleep, energy, and self-esteem while lowering the risk of heart disease, depression, and dementia, to mention a few. But even with wonderful things like working out, there can be too much of anything. If you didn't get enough sleep the night before, feel sore, or are overburdened with other obligations in your life, there is no purpose in forcing yourself to exercise. Sometimes it's better to skip a session and instead take some time to unwind and recuperate. The second is consuming fatty meals. Avoiding high-fat meals entirely is an outmoded diet suggestion you shouldn't feel forced to adhere to. For optimum health, the body needs a moderate amount of fat for its many essential tasks. In spite of the fact that it is feasible to balance both types of fat in a healthy diet, you should seek to prefer unsaturated fats over saturated fats. Unsaturated fats are abundant in foods like nuts, olive oil, avocados, and salmon while saturated fats are found in dairy products, eggs, and cattle. While some foods may not be the best for you, it's important to get adequate fat from a variety of sources for long-term health. Number three is consuming carbohydrates. This subject is the subject of a lot of false information, particularly in the media. Even if some would have you believe otherwise, carbohydrates represent a significant part of the food plate. Carbohydrates are abundant in whole grains like quinoa and farro, as well as in sweet potatoes and black beans. Your body uses carbohydrates as its main energy source to power your kidneys, brain, and central nervous system. Additionally, the fibers and carbohydrates aid with digestion. In fact, you can actually prevent a lot of long-term health problems if you consume between 45 and 65% of your daily calories from carbohydrates. Number 4. Staying in bed. Many people think that those who sleep in are lazy and lack the motivation or discipline to get up when the sun comes up. But the reality is that many people get less sleep than they ought to during the work week. Lack of sleep, however, can have long-term detrimental effects on health, affecting everything from immune system performance to the risk of heart disease. Naturally, you shouldn't stay in all day because getting too much sleep might be harmful to your health. After a particularly exhausting week, if you feel like you need a few extra hours of sleep on a Saturday morning, go ahead and do it. Number 5. Making complaints. Even if it sounds strange, there are occasions when grumbling is a good thing. While it goes without saying that you don't want to be the person who constantly complains and destroys every outing, sometimes you just have to let it out. It has been demonstrated that complaining reduces stress and even strengthens relationships with friends and family because it demonstrates your confidence in them. Additionally, research suggests that those who express their complaints have higher self-esteem than people who suppress their emotions. Sixth, swearing. Although it's considered impolite, swearing isn't really that bad. Of course, if you're continually cursing, your demeanor can come out as a little too hostile. However, using the occasional F-bomb can help you come across as more sincere and real. Anger and tension can both be released through swearing. And yelling profanities can really improve pain tolerance. So, just shout oh, fuck, if you bang your knee against the table. Giving in to urges is number seven. You might think that ignoring desires for eating as long as you can will help you overcome them. But when you ultimately give in to your urge, this strategy typically results in overeating. Undoubtedly, some foods are healthier than others. 
However, limiting your diet to good foods and abstaining from those you deem unhealthy is unlikely to result in general health improvement. Simply choose to indulge in your cravings and enjoy them, of course in moderation. Eighth, wasting time. Spent the last few hours watching the newest Netflix episode? Who hasn't, then? You shouldn't, however, punish yourself for it. You can't and shouldn't be productive every minute of every day, seven days a week. It's okay to postpone a few tasks occasionally so you have more time to accomplish anything you want. Your brain can recharge and rejuvenate during the downtime, which prevents burnout. Put on a podcast and go for a stroll if you really can't get over the notion that you're being ineffective. You may even gain a completely new outlook on life as a result of the thoughts that may strike you. Number 9. Eating at a restaurant. You might disapprove of your friends if they prefer eating out over preparing meals at home. After all, restaurant food is frequently high in calories, sodium, and is less nutrient-dense than home-cooked meals. You need to be concerned about more than just the nutritious content of your meals, though. Your social life is crucial to your health, therefore cutting yourself off from friend groups and avoiding social gatherings might be bad for your mental well-being. If you isolate yourself for a long enough period of time, depression may set in. Therefore, don't feel guilty about going out to eat with your pals occasionally. 10. Sleeping in. You might believe that daytime naps are unnecessary or that they significantly interfere with your sleep cycle. However, taking a nap might be good for your health. The effects of naps on your mood, alertness, and level of exhaustion are all positive. There is evidence that they can lower blood pressure. A brief power sleep of 10 to 20 minutes can do wonders for your body and mind. The 11th, snacking. Between meal snacks can help regulate hunger, and they certainly don't merit the poor reputation they receive. Now, you will undoubtedly experience negative consequences if you frequently choose chips and chocolate over healthy ones. Consequently, it's better to select snacks that are both nourishing and filling, such cheese and crackers, fruit and nuts, or peanut butter and toast. The 12th, tanning. We are all aware of the harm that tanning beds do to the skin. Those are things that you should absolutely avoid. Additionally, we are aware that consistently skipping sunscreen is bad. However, a little sun exposure has some genuine health advantages. Sunlight primarily aids in the body's production of vitamin D, a substance needed for stronger bones, better sleep, better mood, and a stronger immune system, don't be reluctant to enjoy some sun. As you can see, even supposedly bad activities can be beneficial in moderation. You don't have to eliminate these from your life entirely. Sometimes it's exactly what's keeping you emotionally and physically well. How do you feel? Which of them caught you off guard the most? Post your ideas and remarks below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell your friends about it so we can make more like it. Click the subscribe button to see more content like this and don't forget to activate the notification bell. Check watch our other videos as well if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.